From the crown on her head to the moccasins on her feet, Ellen Tahawa's ceremonial garb wastes no chance to share her Comanche heritage with the world. My smoke bags here, I made every single one of these. My purse, the lady that made it, she had a dream about my grandma and my grandma presented her with a flower, so that's what she beaded on there. When it comes to my culture, I like to be involved. To do that, the former Comanche princess will dance with other Native tribe members to celebrate the grand opening of the Briscoe Western Art Museum. We're just representing our people so that people can know that Comanches are alive and we exist. Which has been a problem. I was told one time Native Americans are only in history. <laughs> And I was like, well, I'm standing here. The Comanche people are a great part of Western history, but they're also a great part of the American West today. Briscoe Executive Director Stephen Carr says Western art is more than just cowboys, spurs, and saddles, which is why the museum commissioned well-known Comanche artists Calvert and Tim Tate Nevaqua to paint their teepee. They came down and painted what is a wonderful example of a contemporary teepee. The teepee looks amazing. I love that they have Calvert and Tim featured here. People have a tendency to forget that elements of the past are very much part of the present. It's a reminder that Ellen hopes the Briscoe will be able to continue to share for generations to come. I also have a little boy who I also want to teach my culture to. I think it's exciting and I can't wait for people to see us. Ellen will dance along with other representatives from area tribes this weekend at the Briscoe Museum. Admission is free as part of the Briscoe's grand opening celebration. If you'd like to dance your way on the Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.